playground was terrible in the park. The public spaces I noticed were so neglected and yet there was so much private investment in the homes. So I went to a meeting. I mentioned that the playground was really pretty bad maybe. Well, that was it. So out of that babysitting co-op came the Friends of Shoulder Park. And um, we started off by addressing the playground. We had a painting party and fixed up the equipment that was there. It was from probably the 50s and maybe the 60s, the equipment. Then we planted trees, hundreds of trees in those early years and had Arbor Days down here. We had it transferred. So the city was participating with us in Arbor Day. We have the German Singing Societies come over. Uh, it was just very successful. Then I had gone to the Boston Public Gardens and saw tree tags, came back. So we did a tree tour and marked the trees and began to do an inventory of the ancient trees. And that's when we discovered how significant the trees were in the park. It was a low-lying area and there were um, ancient trees, 300 years old, um, and that were native species which had evolved in that park. Uh, Buck Reinhardt called me Janet Driven. He couldn't remember Druin. So it was, <laughs> it was it, and it was fun. I mean, that's what's made it wonderful about living in German villages. It was so easy, and in Columbus, it was very easy to contribute. There didn't uh, seemed to be a hierarchy or um, that it mattered who you were or where you came from and that's what I sense also about this community. So if you want to be involved, it's, it's easy to be involved and it's easy to contribute and to contribute ideas.